All right, let's get this going. G'day guys, it's John from The Productive Garden again, and today we're going to be doing some peach tree cuttings now. I've recently, or well, today actually, pruned my peach tree. You may have seen the video, I'll put a link to it up here. Anyway, what we're going to do is from some of those bits that I cut off, we're going to try and do some cuttings. Now, I haven't taken cuttings from peach trees before, I've read up a bit about it. Some people say you can't do it, some people say you can. Um, some people say that you should do it in summer when they've got all their leaves on them. Some people say you should do them um, just before they start budding. Everyone's got an opinion. Anyway, mine are just before they're starting to bud because, I mean, that's the time of year and I want to give it a go now and see what happens. If it doesn't work with these ones just before they're budding, then maybe I'll give it a try when they've got leaves on them. So we'll, we'll give both a try. But anyway, what I've got, I've got some cuttings here. Now, one thing I do know is when you do cuttings with peach trees is you want a bit of the old wood and some of the new wood, the new growth from last year. Okay, so the roots are going to come out of the old growth and the new growth is the part that will grow. All right, now, what you wanna do is, what this here is honey. So I, I don't use rooting hormone, I don't particularly like it. Um, because it's chemical, I like to do things a little bit more natural and honey is supposed to be a good thing for it. So what we want to do is cut a nice angle on the cutting. And what that does, that maximises the openings in the capillaries of the, um, of the shoot. So we dip that in the honey, give it a good stir around. Let the excess come off. Okay, and we'll put that in the water. I might take a bit out of that actually. Now the water shouldn't go any higher than the old wood. So the new green stuff should be outside of the water. Okay, so we'll do another one here. Cut it at an angle. Dip it in the honey. Wipe the extra off. And in the water. Now, you could probably do it in soil as well. But in the soil, you can't quite see when the roots are coming out. I want to be able to see when the roots are coming out. So I'll do it in water and we'll see how it goes. Okay, this one's green a whole lot, but it's a bit of a longer shoot. What the heck, let's see how it goes. If it shoots, it shoots. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go on with the rest of these and we'll come back when I'm finished. Alright, so we've got these cuttings done. There's about 20 cuttings in there. I haven't cut them exactly. So what I'll do is I'll place them on a nice sunny window somewhere and change this water every two or three days. Make sure it doesn't get all mucky and we'll see how, this thi we'll see how these things go and I'll keep you updated on how they go. Okay, until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.